Ladies and gents, welcome to TFI, where you join me on a new series, which uh, I'm going to try and keep up, maybe do a video on once every week, and it's all about trying to push people towards the ideas area, which is the Autodesk wish list. The wish list? I didn't even know it had a wish list. Yeah, you and everyone else didn't know Autodesk had a wish list, because they've renamed it and called it Ideas, which is a stupid name, in my opinion. So the idea is I'm going to pick out an idea off the idea station, maybe once a week, once every two weeks, I don't know, something that I think is a good idea, and then just try and flow some people towards it, go and vote for it if you think it's a great idea, and make your own whilst you're there. All you need is an account, which all you need is your name and your email address, that's it, to make an account. And then you can go and create your own ideas or vote on other people's. So this is the page where all the ideas areas are for all the different Autodesk products. So we've got Inventor, we've got Fusion 360, note the absence of AutoCAD. Hmm. Mm, yeah, no AutoCAD there. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if, if Autodesk just think now that they've done everything they need to do on AutoCAD and now all there's left to do is add shit that it doesn't need. I don't know, but AutoCAD's not there. Anyway, when you go into the Inventor Ideas area, or the Inventor Wishlist as I'm going to call it, because it should be called the Bloody Wishlist, this is the three tabs you get along the top, the newest ideas, the hot ideas. I don't know what that is. I don't know whether that's just the ideas that are getting upvoted the most. And then we've got the top voted ideas. And this kind of demonstrates how poorly implemented this area is given that inventor must have hundreds of thousands of users or has had hundreds of thousands of users over the years and the very top voted idea on the wish list has had 600 votes over four years that's pathetic that really is absolutely pathetic given every single person that's used inventor will have had an opinion on what they want to see or change about inventor 600 votes over four years for the top idea is absolutely pathetic so i'm going to try and flow some people towards it you don't have to it's entirely optional but Autodesk are actively monitoring this. They are checking this out. The product teams do look at this and they've now got status tags to say, right, we're reviewing this, we've actually done this, or we've accepted this and we're going to do it in the future. Things are gathering support. You know, the various different states, but it shows that Autodesk are monitoring this and your opinions really do count. So the more votes something gets, the more chance it's going to get under somebody's radar. If a brilliant idea sits on the idea station with only two or three votes out of thousands, it's never going to get looked at. It's never going to get seen. So go to this page, check it out. I'll link it in the description down below. And every week, maybe once every two weeks, I don't know. It depends how popular this is. I don't think it's going to be massively popular. But even if a couple of hundred people go over to this and start voting on ideas, then it's a success. But I'll pick one out every couple of weeks and then do a video on it just to, just to highlight something that I think is a good idea. So what I'm going to start with is this idea here, which is assembly hold to slot constraint. So this is an idea which has been on for just a few days, actually. I think it depends whether that's English or American date format. But the idea is when you're creating a whole feature in part mode, I don't know why he's tagged it as an assembly because the same applies to the part features as well inside a part. When you're creating a whole feature, there's no way to center a hole in the middle of a slot without creating additional work features. So this is pretty much the problem. If we go over to Inventor, so we've got a couple of slots here. You create a whole feature. The four hole placement options, you've got sketch, linear, concentric, and on point. Concentric will let you place a hole on a face, concentric to an arc. But that's central to the arc. It doesn't let you place a hole directly in the middle of the slot. And that's going to be something which is quite useful. That would be really useful for a lot of people, I think. You can do it. I mean, you can do it. There's various... I know some smart ass is going to be like, oh, well, you could do this. You could do work axes and create surfaces and blah, 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 blah. But everything that I see people suggest is less productive than just giving us an option to put a hole in the middle of a slot. So if you do have an, a great idea for how to do this a little bit quicker than what I'm about to do, just please keep it to yourself because it's less productive than just having an option in whole to create a placement option in the middle of a slot. Right, okay, so what you would do is you'd start a sketch, you'd place it on the slot, and then one way of doing it would be to project the geometry of the slot either side, the concentric arcs on either side, and then draw yourself a construction line between the center of the slots, and then the midpoint of that line is the center of the slot, and that would be there. So you put a point on that midpoint, and then using the hole feature, you can place a hole on a sketch, and then you can see, oh yeah, a sketch, and then it picks up that point, that is the center of the slot. So that's one way of doing it. There are a number of other ways of doing it, as I said before, but none of those methods are any more productive. They are all less productive than just having a placement center to the slot. So that's the, that's one idea which I think on the wish list is worthy of getting upvoted. But whilst you're there, if you do go over and upvote this idea, just check out the other ideas whilst you're there. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, click back to the ideas board, that'll take you to the main page, and then just have a browse through. If you do create additional ideas though, 
please try your hardest to not create duplicate ideas because that doesn't help. If we get three or four ideas on the ideas area which are all asking for the same thing, then something which could have 100 votes might just end up being split out into having 25 votes each or one might have 50, the others might have just you know 10 or 20. That, that just devalues the idea station. So just do a quick search. When you, when you are creating an idea and you're typing out the title for the idea, it will suggest other things which it thinks is similar to what you're typing out. So um, whole slot, for example, that should bring up posts which uh, are similar to what it thinks that I'm trying to get at. But there you go, assembly, hold a slot constraint. So that's the one I've just been showing you. So just take a look through these other ideas. Anything with a light bulb on is a reference to something on the idea station. Anything without that is usually a forum post. That's pretty much it for this one. I'll keep doing this if uh, if it proves to be worthwhile. If it is flowing traffic towards the idea station, I'll keep doing this. But yeah, apologies for my voice. I'm croaky as hell. Uh, but, you know, what can you do? Right, see you in the next one. Doodles.